Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. Um, <laughs> so this just came. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is the one I had been alluding to that, um, I was just really, really curious. And I had heard about paper tests for the last maybe year, um, six months to a year. Um, I don't have any of their products. I don't know. Uh, I don't know a lot of details, but, um, yeah, I have not opened this box yet. So this will be more of a first impressions, I guess, on unboxing. Um, I'm just trying to think through this. I, it, it immediately came. I immediately thought, okay, let's record this. So, um, it is sealed on along the one side, but I liked that um, it is kind of like a nice little shimmery gold there. And I am attempting to hide my address here, but um, I thought, well, why don't I actually, I do like to, sorry for the blank screen for a moment here. Uh, this is like, here, I'll show you. Um, just trying to make sure I don't show my address very very sticky but this has been coming um for the last i think it took oh i'm trying to remember what date i ordered that um well let me see if there's an invoice or something in here so here's the paper okay when i squeeze it's a little soft which oh okay it's just <laughs> Ink paper. Uh, cute, 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 cute. So we are going to sprinkle that pink paper all over the place. Let me make sure my camera is set correctly. So yeah, paper test designs. So cute. Um, and I had watched some, um, like. Let me just like do that for a moment. Um, I had watched some videos from last year's um, launch and for the most part, I was like, well, that's a little too similar to what I have. And um, I sometimes I don't like to be limited with what I can do. So I, I'll show you here in a second. These are both dated. These are both, um, have everything drawn in and I'm, I want to see if that's what I want to possibly use this year. So yeah, this is her little thank you. Um, very cute. Very cute. I also got, uh, just one of the, um, I actually don't know if this works <laughs> in these, but I was like, well, I'm ordering internationally. Why don't I just go ahead and grab the um, time washi. Sometimes it's just nice to have. So these are the little time washi here. I'm just trying to make sure my camera's all good over here because I was kind of in a rush setting this up. Um, so let's see. This does have my address on it. So I might have a quick cut here or actually here. We'll do the magic. <laughs> I just needed to move that out of the way. Uh, maybe I'll say the date on here when I ordered these. So this is the packing slip. So October 27th. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, so yeah, and today is November 14th. Um, so I got the weekly notebook. And then this is a size I do not have at all. This is a B6. I have been curious about, I know, I don't have a B6 at all. I, um, all my stuff is A5. I like the extra room. I write big for the most part. Like I can write small if I have to, but I do tend to write larger. And maybe that's a neurodivergent thing where I practiced my handwriting a lot growing up, but... I tend to sometimes not have the firmest of grips and I've talked about my wrist before. I won't go into that because it can kind of 
be a little oogie, <laughs> but it's just mainly carpal tunnel. And so I've had to change my grip over the years. I would say I changed it about when I started getting kind of my little lumps on my wrist, um, which are benign there. <laughs> it might be just more like friction based. Um, but, um, I don't know. Like, it's hard to tell when you start writing differently, right? It's, I do know I was like, whoa, I, that's not what I normally do, <laughs> but it feels like a firmer grip. Anyway, um, long story short, I tend to like more room and everything. Maybe I'll actually open the B6 first. Um, and I was just like, you know, what would it be like to have this size? I, I don't know what it feels like. Um, and I didn't want just a plain notebook. So there's like little sparkles on all of this. So it's quite fun to open up here. So you can read all of the details about um, these planners in the link that I provided. That is super smooth. Much, you know, I don't have the green... Um, cover from Sterling Ink, but I'm wondering if this might be kind of similar. I've been curious to try the green cover and we'll see. Um, I don't think I have anything that I want a green cover for. Like I don't have a need to order something in a green cover, but I might. I know this Friday they um, go on sale for the masses. Um, past the pre-order. So just want to do some like first impressions of this. It's a really cute size. I do have to say that. And the one thing that I heard someone else, and I'm sorry if I'm forgetting who, um, I'm trying to think who I was watching that was talking about these. If, if I remember, I might go back through my history and see. Um, they were talking about how these it's, I think it's mainly the typography is romantic, is what they were saying. And I understand it's the combination of like the script, like the sans serif in italic, and then also having kind of a clean, um, sorry, the serif. <laughs> I'm still trying to get into my recording mode here. The serif version in italic and the um, sans serif in just the like nice, crisp, clean. And then when you combine those, which I've always loved the combination of those, um, it just adds like functionality with a little bit of romanticism. I thought was a really good word for that. So yeah, like... <laughs> Um, it, it's really gorgeous. Like I see how like the, t I love the typography of Sterling Inc. And yeah, I could start this soon here. I'm not sure exactly what I'm using it for. That's the thing. Um, I have many dated notebooks and I'm trying to decide and trying to keep my life simple too. See, I love this. Um, and then just having, but I, I'm not doing dailies as much. I'm not sure. I wanted more of the form factor and I just really wanted to see this um, in person. There is one more reason. Let's see. Now that I'm seeing these, I don't know if it'll fit. So this is what I was going to try to do was I did have, this is a personal wide um, that I have for what? I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, it's a personal wide um, mo term, and I haven't done much with it. And as you can see, there's an October in here. And I got it used with these tabs. And then I, because I want to experiment with like the personal wide size, but then I was like, wait, would a B6 fit in here? I, I measured it. I know it's probably not exact at all, but I really wanted to try. Because I find it really interesting. Oh my goodness. Okay, I find this so fascinating that certain books are fitting 
in the rings. I just, of course, it's like, I don't know if it's on purpose or what. Like, I could fold that back. But um, this is kind of what I was wondering about a setup here. Uh, and I was wondering about keeping this just for work. That was my thought. Um, I could take this out. Like, this is not quite necessary back here other than to protect these. I could put one of the dividers back here. But yeah, it's like, it's a tight squeeze. I mean, <laughs> it's not quite laying, you know, exactly flat. I mean, this is supposed to stick out like that. It's, I think it's one of the older ones. Um, you can tell me. But I just find it so fascinating. I've been doing this with my A5. I have an A5 rings that I can fit an A5 in the back. And I was afraid this would just stick out slightly, but I'm kind of wondering about this for a work setup because I have my, so this is what I'm running into. This is the biggest thing I'm running into as I have confetti and <laughs> things everywhere. I'm really liking the combination of a main planner plus some inserts like kind of having the combination of both because I'm creating inserts um and I find that like really fascinating so yeah I'm not sure exactly what I'll do with it but that was my and you know this is kind of a warmer tone this is kind of a cooler although this is kind of pink sometimes on um like photography this kind of shows up as pink when you compare it to white but that was my idea of like what could I do with this um because my let's see because I was doing the same with a bigger one here and I had my um take a note back here it fits back here um with some so I have like, I don't have much in these side things. I have so many options this year. So this is the um, crossbow with the crossbow um, dividers in it. And then I was putting my take a note back there. But I have it, it out right now because I've been practicing using it to see if it's going to fit what I need. So that's the one part there. Um, I really wanted to feel what a B6 was like. And it's just going to be super loud and crinkly. <laughs> Let's move that out of the way. Um, it is that beautiful Tomei River paper. Um, it's really gorgeous to have these little borders at the top and the bottom. And like these numbers sitting exactly in the grid there. Which I think most of them do. But um, I'm noticing it because they're very bold on the side. It is very gorgeous, I have to say. I can see why someone would only use this. Yeah, it's it's gorgeous. And I wanted the, um, I thought about green, but because I was using it in a white notebook, I thought um, this was really gorgeous. And yeah, the rings will leave little dots here or here. Oh, here's the side of it. So yeah, it's the full year. Let's see if I can get that. It's a full year 2024 B6. So this year has been a research year. It's just kind of how it's been. So, okay. And then this one, the weekly notebook. Okay. I think I got a little confused about this one. Um, <clears throat> I thought this one was actually a TN size um, because, but I, I wanted this specific layout. That's where I got confused a little bit because I really want to try this layout for my health stuff. Um, and now seeing that it's not a TN, it's a weekly, hence weekly. Um, it's okay. We get confused. There's a lot of details we're trying to keep all in our heads. Um, but yeah, I was trying to see if I could put it in here. And now that I see it, it's a totally different size. So this is my current one. 
and it is a proper weekly. So I don't really have a cover for this, um, which is interesting. This is, this is what's making this even more interesting. <laughs> it's like this cover has been a little too bulky and I did get another TN Sterling ink, but now I'm looking at this because I was getting a little tired of just writing everything out. And I, I love this, that it has the week here and I could track things in here um, and here too. Like I can keep like what I'm eating here, symptoms along the way, um, track some of my numbers so I could do like sleep, all these different things. Or I could just put a number here and like do different color graphs this way and then keep some other details there. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Like I could start this in December. Oh, it has a November. Oh no, sorry. I was getting very confused. Um, no, this is of the next year. So, but I could start it as November 27th on, which is not that far away. It really isn't. Um, this is fascinating to me to be able to track health stuff in a really organized way, or it could be for social media. Um, the one thing about these is that, um, and let's see if we can, I'm going to turn up. If you can see here, it's a very dotted grid, um, which is fine. You know, it's not a dot grid. It's the actual lines are dotted, which is kind of nice. So I don't know, now I'm a little bit more confused because I had assumed this was a TN, but none of the other TN sizes, like she had TN notebooks. Um, they were not in the dated and the format that I wanted. So, um, but I mean, this is, this is gorgeous. It really is. It's really gorgeous to have like, and then these are by quarter. Well, actually these are not by quarters, just three of them. So what would you call this? These are by thirder. <laughs> These are by. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little off camera there. Um, you get three four month spreads, um, and then, yeah, into the months. So it does start with December. That's really beautiful. I kind of like just the the fonts the typography of this a little better than Sterling Inc. Although I still love the Sterling Inc. Like both of them, they're just so close. And I do like that this is thicker. Um, I think this is a little thicker than my, let's see, I have them here next to me. Um, I put them, oh, here we go. So it's really between these two for health and boy, is that cream and that blue look gorgeous together, but, um, it would be one or the other, but as you can see the, um, this one is thicker than this one. So, and they're both like, it's a weekly kind of like horizontal. Cause it's like kind of this way. Um, but as you can see, there's a whole lot more room in this one with just a whole blank side to it. So I don't know. Sorry. I'm totally off camera. I'm so excited. And yet so like, what do I do? <laughs> um, it's hard. It's going to be super hard. And I'm trying to think of like other ways to use these, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to sell some things. Um, because these are going to be dated and they're not going to be, you know, usable for a bit. Um, what I'm going to try to do is what I've been doing in my take a note is like, just use some pencil, um, and see if I like the layout or what other people have been doing is they make a copy of this, um, on and try it out just on another piece of paper and see how they like the layout because it you have to try sometimes. Um, 
so the back here, so these aren't numbered, but it starts at one here on the back of January 5th. And they do call that week one because there's um, more days in January than there are December. So this is a week one. And then in the back here, you have 227 in the back, which is a lot. Um, I'm having trouble, you know, having, trying to, to fill up this back part. Now this is pretty similar so that their number one, that you have a blank one here and their number one Sterling ink is on this side and you get 120, which is usually all I need. And I'm, I don't even know if I use half of those because it's a health planner. So I know I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm just noticing like there is just like this little dent right there. But again, I would take pictures if I'm selling any of these to see what I'm doing. This has provided a lot of flexibility in terms of if I want to change things up over here, I could. I could leave it as just notes. Um, I do really like like this horizontal and then here like this could just be a, a grocery planner, like food food planner because that's kind of what I was thinking about for um, the one last one that's coming the Aura Estelle that um, actually is a Sunday start on the monthlies but this would be Monday start for everything um, and that's what I liked about this this was Monday start for everything here Monday start here and yeah so I don't know. I want to like find a good use for all of this. So yeah, like this is in the form factor that, let's see, I'm trying to think what other covers I would have for this. Um, so yeah, no regrets. I don't mind that it's just a different size. And I do find it very interesting that like the B6 and the, the weak size are like almost the same height. Um, what I've been doing is putting the weeks size in a personal, in the back of a personal. Um, I could show that another time. There's going to be a time when I go over the inserts I'm using. Um, but this, I'm actually just really thrilled about this one being so that's the other thing is that, let's see, what I'm thinking about here, about having like the month and then like a spread and then the weeks is really intriguing to me because then it feels like you're going through everything. You don't have to keep searching back here. Like I don't mind using the little tabs but I do find it really interesting to have like these interspersed within the whole thing. Whereas this one doesn't, this has all the months at the beginning. So those are my first impressions. Um, the paper is just absolutely amazing to feel. The covers are much smoother, um, definitely floppy, but any other details, please see the website. Um, these aren't like review type <laughs> videos. And I got one comment just that was, I'll say it, it was rude. And I don't, I didn't mind like responding to it because, um, yeah, well, you can't just like, you know, ignore them. So I responded back to it, but I do, um, you know, it's really interesting to hold in your hands and there's something really tactile to that and really important to kind of feel things. And I know some of these videos help people out in terms of feeling them. Um, and so that's what these videos are about. They are talking about how they feel, my thoughts of just 
Like, how could I use these? Um, I'm feeling more like work oriented in this one. And I've tried having work and personal separate. Um, and I've tried putting them together and I actually don't know which I prefer right now. This is really romantic though. I, I just keep coming back to those words cause it's so right. It's so much, um, like that, like just the fonts of everything. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm just, I feel really fortunate that I can kind of like get a few planners, try them out. Um, but yeah, I'll have to be selling some of these because I just can't keep them all. Um, I, I remember seeing some people with like just big stacks of planners and I didn't understand. I didn't understand like, how could you have so many planners that you need to keep open in front of you or try to work? Like I could only use one. Um, oh, I got this out. I kind of used it. Um, and now I get, now I understand. Now I understand that there are certain bits of information you want to just look at and it could be ADHD thing is just like, Hey, if I have all this stuff mixed together, it's going to be very confusing. And what I've seen some people do is just saying, okay, well, I can block out work time in my main carry, my main um, planner, but then in a different business planner, really break things down. I know Cindy does that. I know, um, I don't know who else I could name, but I, I do really enjoy seeing like llama letters, Cindy talk about how she's trying to track all of her personal stuff, plus all of her work stuff. Um, and I've watched her for years and it's, it's really interesting to see her go back and forth of just having it all in one planner and not, and what does that mean? What does that, how does that feel? How does that work with your everyday usage of things? Excuse me. So yeah, I <laughs> mainly just wanted to show these and I'll clean up my little mess here <laughs> when I'm done. But um, this is giving me a whole lot of ideas, though, I do have to say. So I think for this one, I'm going to make a copy of it and play around with the, the layout um, and see and see what I could do with all the back ones. Now, I also know that you don't have to feel guilty for leaving pages blank, too. You can use, like, if the beginning of this is just so useful to you and you're like, feel bad about not using it all. I don't think you should feel bad about that. I think you're like, this is what really works for me. And, um, yeah. So I do know there is a TN that's undated that, um, will work in there. So I do know that <laughs> I did see that they had TN notebooks, uh, booklets, I think was the, because TNs normally fit differently in there. And I'm using TNs very differently. Um, in this big stack, I put a few more things in here, but it really needs like this much to carry around. And I'm like, but I'm just using like one notebook in here. Um, so what's appealing to me is like having a much smaller, you know what I'm thinking thinking like a little week's cover in the Moterm Plum with this kind of, that would just be really gorgeous. <sighs> now, <laughs> now I'm thinking, cause it's so much smaller. This is pretty much the size of my wallet and I could put it in my purse. Um, the other one will not fit in my smaller purse. Like when I'm running and dashing out the door, usually I don't know. I go between a smaller purse and a medium sized purse. When I go to appointments, usually I take the medium because I have to haul a few more things around, especially to my infusions. I make sure I have my, like a snack with me, my water and uh, my headphones because I'm going to sit there a while, but, oh, even a cover with like kind of a burnt orange with this, like that's why I got these neutral because I don't know exactly what I'm doing with them, but 
it's the biggest question here is, is this enough room for me to do? Will this speed up how I'm tracking all of my health stuff? Um, will it work? And I, I think it's mainly, you know, trying out this layout. But yeah, I'm actually being drawn more and more to this. Just looking at it because everything is really in here and I don't have to like create a new layout. I just have to figure out how I'm going to use it. That's what I find so fascinating about this and to have it smaller and in a, okay, I think I need to go and see if I can find a little um, cover for this. I know, um, the sterling ink is going on sale this friday i'm thinking about getting a well it have to be uh i'm gonna try a week's um bigger clear cover because she just announced she's not restocking her clear covers um but i can't get a small week's this is a, a chunker here so i want to make sure i get the bigger weeks on here um and then a b6 cover this is pretty chunky too. So just making sure these dimensions will work in those. Cause I do like them. Um, and I know her clear covers are not available outside of the EU. I believe they were saying, um, cause I, I would have preferred to just have gotten a couple covers through her, but, um, yeah. And then this, I don't even know <laughs> what I mean going to use that for, I guess, because there's kind of like dailies in here, you could definitely put these in. So now I'm curious about this. Um, yeah, so this is going to come out today, the day I got this. So you're, if you're hopping right on my videos, you will see, um, that this just came out. Oh, I guess there's little dots on those, but you get two for five euros. Um, let's see, where's the top of this? Probably near a one. It is near a one. Nice. Um, it's very thin. Trying to kind of flatten out that top a little bit more. And so, oh, that kind of comes out even. It's much more bold than the, um, yeah, I'm just going to like, carefully place that just so you can kind of see like that's what it looks like it is um the clean font next to this kind of more serif font over here so this is the sans serif um it's a little darker than i'm used to because the let's see do i have those other ones here uh, let me go grab them real quick so just to compare, this is the um, Sterling Ink, and then with her grid, I don't know if these are, ex I know these are narrower, and these are more like square ones, but, um, excuse me, let's see, this one starts at one, two, thank you very much. I would say the tape feels about the same. This feels slightly thicker. And this um, doesn't have the lines in between. So you can put them on the lines. I'm just gonna do that for now. But I do like how these kind of blend in a little bit more. So are they interchangeable? That's a really good question. I'm gonna go very gentle here. There we go. They're, they're a little off. Like if you wanted to just use like five hours, um, then I would say these are just slightly taller and you can see that in the specs, but um, you can line up like the seven lines up here but then once you go to the 12, it's a little above and by the two up here, it's below. So 
that's about the difference. Um, so I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't use um, different tapes on different systems there. And especially with the paper tests on here because these lines are gonna, would be much more noticeable. But if you were to grab a paper test and then had some sterling ink laying around, you could do this in there and it would be pretty close if you just wanted to do like a section like that, you know. So yeah, that's about, I think, um, the extent of things. And it's giving me a lot of ideas, a lot of ideas of like, do I really want to just do some things? Well, to finish that sentence, <laughs> to do some things that are very different than what I'm doing this year. Um, I completely changed up what I was doing from last year. So I was in moxie life. I was in thick paper, no bleed through pencil. Um, you know, I didn't even get into erasable inks until well, during moxie life. Yeah. It was that I was tr putting, um, these videos out and you couldn't see the pencil as well. And yeah, the erasable pen just really helped. But then I got into, I never got into Hobonichi itself, but the Hobonichi adjacent, which was this and Sterling Ink. Well, this just came, but this uh, or Estelle I'm interested in, but I have a feeling, yeah, I won't keep it. Um, yeah. <laughs> And the take a note, the take a note I'm just starting into. I've done like two days in it. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just doing the week of January. And I see that like I can do like two columns for each day. Uh, and I'm keeping like health stuff right next to, you know, my stuff for the day. I don't know how that's going. <laughs> like that particular particular layout while it's very intriguing and I can see it all being like captured in one place, I don't know. I don't know if I'm liking that. I, so the thing that I'm fighting most is that in my current A5 Sterling ink, I am mostly copying what has been comfortable for me for years, which is a vertical layout. Um, I used it in Inkwell Press. I used it in Moxie Life and now I'm using it um, solidly in each of those systems. Like I did multiple years of Inkwell Press um, until her designs changed. I, I loved the rings. Sorry, not rings, the discs. I love being able to like swap things out and make things, put a whole bunch of stuff in there. Um, but it was always the weekly layout, vertical weekly. Um, and then going to Moxie Life was very, very similar. The thick paper didn't bleed through. Um, and then moving into Tomoe River paper has been really interesting. It's almost like to me, um, I hadn't worn glasses all my life. So glasses were new to me about a year ago, as in um, my site has been really good. My genetics, you know, like that's just genetics. Um, and when you're adjusting to glasses and I don't know about new glasses, I'm assuming that kind of happens every time, but I've only had one pair, um, is that you, your brain has to get used to seeing differently through those lenses. And it's a little disorienting, disorienting, disorientating. There we go. <laughs> Um, and I feel like that's how it was for the Tomoe paper, like to have it thinner and see, you know, the bleed through and everything really tripped me up. I was just like, that's so confusing. I need things very clean in my life so I can see things. So I have like very clean surfaces in my home. I have, um, you know, my planning, I'm trying to, that's why I use erasable because I need to take things off of there that, 
either I didn't do them that week or I'm moving them around or whatever. It helps me to look back and not see a bunch of stuff scratched out. Um, so I couldn't use like this paper without an erasable pen. It would, <laughs> unless I'm using pencil, which I don't really like anymore. I used to do everything in pencil, everything, but now the erasable pen is where I'm at. Um, so am I going to take a bigger leap this next year going, okay, I've adjusted to the paper. I've been in these vertical weekly layouts in my comfort zone of having like, here's my appointments and then having a to-do list below. Is it time to jump into something where I don't have that vertical that I have something like this, um, which is similar to like the take a note, right? It has this part here and then you can have all this room to do other things here. Um, and then you go into the next week. I do find this really fascinating. You still have to put like a little tab for that month so you can look back at the month. Um, yeah, these are really growing on me, but I, I would have to think very differently. And like knowing that I tried out dailies, excuse me. Um, I'm just kind of wondering if I didn't like the dailies cause they were always in the back or, and so they weren't next to the week here. And maybe this is that nice middle ground. Um, and again, it's a smaller form factor, but there's a whole lot more pages. And I know people are in love with the B6. I keep opening it feeling like a week's. I feel like it's only going to open to here. <laughs> That's, you know, the same feel of the week's. I keep feeling like it's going to be that. Um, I do see how this layout may be too complicated for what I'm trying to do. You can see a lot of the week's. Like it's, it's a lot to have all of this kind of showing through from the other side, um, which is more than what I currently have, right? Like <laughs> I, this is very plain, but when, um, let's see, I'll show my current week here. When I am doing my health stuff, I see a lot coming through here. So I don't really have much to complain about, but I want to put like the moon phases in there because that's important to me. And I don't know where that would go, but this is just so thick. Like I love this because I got it used and it's so smooth. I just recently went through and I conditioned all my leather, um, covers. And so it got even smoother. Um, but I, just having like this much fit in here is so, oh, that's so tempting. So tempting. And I, I am done with <laughs> having a, um, non-dated. So if you're, if you're yelling at the screen, why didn't you get a TN that was undated? I have done undated. I've created a couple of these, um, undated versions and I've dated them all up and I, I, <laughs> I do like having a project, but I kind of want my projects this next year to be actually in here and not the setting up itself. So, and I also like, like, I don't have to sticker these up. I could use maybe a couple highlighters if I need to, um, that this is more functionally driven. This I could see, you know, doing a little bit more with, um, because these are kind of plain pages and it'd be kind of fun to do something on those. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot. Let's see. Do I have my, yeah, I have my, um, I have a very, like, I'm trying to not have my Christmas decorations <laughs> fall down, but like, these are kind of w the ones that I'm trying to choose from. And this is the, um, let's see, this cover is, I do like these covers. This was just from Amazon. It's, um, did it say in here? Because this is like matte on the inside and there is a pen loop here. It's, 
Midori, I believe, um, cover here. And then I, I also got the Hobonichi Han um, cover for my other one, but that that's for a thicker cover. So I do really like that I can still get these. I wish these came in a smaller size because I would definitely get them. But um, yeah, I would say these are pretty much similar in terms of thickness. Again, you can look at the website for the exact um, centimeter, millimeter um, measurements. This does look very slightly thicker because it has all the days in it. Whereas, well, actually they both have days. Yeah, this all has single days and then this has all one for each in the back. So it goes up to 300. <clears throat> I keep forgetting how many are in here. Usually it's like 369 is what this is up to. But this vertical layout is just kind of how my brain is working for my everyday. So I have a feeling I'm gonna very much start out in here um, and maybe use this one for work. That would be interesting. That would be interesting and have this for health. And maybe that's my stack for the year. Because I don't know if Take a Note's working. Um, like I could see every single one of these as like your only, only um, carry. Like I could see that. I could see that for a, for a lot of things. Um, I just, I don't know if that's what I'm going to do. Because... I can see like each one of these being enough for someone. And that's what I'm trying to see is like, okay, which one's going to be enough where I track? Cause the more I use one and keep it all there, the more, the less I have to like go, okay, I have a dentist appointment. Let me put it in my main one. Let me put it in my health planner, whichever I, it's just going to be one is the health planner. And then also in my work planner, do I need to put it in those? Plus I have a passport that I carry around as well. Um, the passport's really cute and it's great for making like quick appointments. And I find because it just has the months, it's the SI Sterling Inc. passport, just booklet, um, that I can just open up, see the months really quickly, put something in. Um, but with this take the place of that because this has the months in there and then I could keep all my health stuff in there too. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so stay tuned. Um, probably towards the end of December, I'm going to be making some decisions on this and I'll show you what I'm moving forward with. I have toyed with the idea of going, you know what? Maybe I just keep some of these, not every single one, for doing a weekend to show some options of things. I know other planners have done that where they're like, oh, you know, you can decorate this one like this. You can decorate this one like this and kind of go through them. Um, and I do see that as like a project that would be fun. And if I release two videos a week, I could probably do that where I rotate through a different planner and then I still have my main one where I'm not really using the other planners as like all the time, but then uh, my heart is just like, but someone else could use this. <laughs> um, and it does make things a little bit more complicated. And I, I don't know if I'm the channel for just showing layouts. I think more deeply about things. So I'm the one who <laughs> wants to, like my main goal here about planning your energy is to really think through um, having space in your schedule and why. Like, I want to get to the why. I want to go deep with things. Having a bunch of different brands that I'm hopping around in. I, I understand having like a vertical and a horizontal maybe to show. Um, and then maybe this is a very unique layout to show. But I don't need all of them. Um, and plus I'm really playing around with these inserts and the inserts themselves are places to really kind of go deep and 
kind of um, journal in them, kind of like really understand what your values are. That's what's kind of important to me. So that's why with these, it's kind of important that these fit next to some rings. Um, I have a financial binder where my uh, ledger fits in the back and then I have all these other financial things in it. And I, and I kind of just, that's my favorite right now is having a notebook within the rings as I, as I was saying. So this will be really interesting. And um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for letting me just kind of ramble about these. Again, this is not a review. Any details that you want are in the links below. Um, I've linked all of these that I've talked about. Um, and as I go and find covers for these, I will share them at that point. But I need to like find them and try them out and see if they'll work. Um, and I'll also link this artist, Beth, um, if you want to see her her stuff because I linked down her, the, her stuff on the, the last one too. So yeah, let me clean up this mess and I will, I will get back to you soon in the next month here and kind of really suss out what I'm going to be using. I know I've gotten a lot of people subscribing to this channel because of Sterling Ink. I don't think I'm going to be Sterling Ink free. Like I don't think I could go through and do zero Sterling Ink. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be kind of like this and then we'll see about the, the B6, um, in there as well. That's, that's just my feeling right now. The take a note is gorgeous. I'm trying to find a usage for it. My husband kind of likes it. So I'm kind of wondering if he might take it. Um, yeah, I, I'll let y'all know. Thank you for, for being here. Please like and subscribe on your way out. If you really are loving these videos and you like these little surprise videos in the middle of the week like this, I do want to do more than one video a week. Um, it's been a lot to help my son get into his schooling. Usually September is kind of like trial and error. October and November are those we have to get it down so he feels a rhythm. Um because he's neurodivergent and he needs a lot of help. Um, I just have to be there for him for a lot of different things. And right after school, I'm helping him with his homework, keeping like, he has his own planner <laughs> to, well, it's mainly a notebook right now. He's just keeping a to-do list. Um, but just kind of helping him understand what's really important for that. So... Yeah, that's kind of where I've been. And I would love to go to two videos a week. I think that would be really cool. I used to do um, Tuesday videos and then uh, Sunday videos and then sometimes a Friday. Like I would love to get up to three, um, but it would, it just, again, if I had only like two planners to really upkeep, then I'm not trying to like, <laughs> I can pour my energy more into doing more videos than trying to, um, I don't know, planner hop around. I'm not against planner hopping. Again, I'm not against it. I just, I'm trying to be very selective with my energy and what I'm pouring it into. And videos here are the most natural, but they still, you know, have a lot of energy dumping into them. So, Okay, I should go now. <laughs> it's been an hour. Take care, everyone, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!